Hi guys, my name is Malena Tolnes. I've been doing extreme sports for as long as I can remember. And today I'm going to tell you about five life lessons that I have learned from extreme sports that you can use in your daily life. Lesson number one, practice and patience is the key to success. This is a lesson that I've learned from every sport I've done by practicing the same trick over and over. When learning a new trick, the first attempts are far from close. And the only way to achieve it is to practice it relentlessly until you finally land it. In the beginning, it seems impossible, but it's only when you keep practicing even though it's hard that you will eventually land it. When you do, it's the best feeling in the world because you worked so hard and for so long. This is a great lesson since most of the things we do in life needs practice and patience. Many times in life we feel like we're putting in the effort but we can't see the results. For example, if you've been working out for a while and you don't see the results, you have to keep going until you do. The key is to never stop practicing and to be patient and know that the results will come if you put in the work. Most things that are worth doing is hard. Being good at something, whatever it is, is hard work. Lesson number two, don't rush to take the first wave. When surfing, we spend a lot of time in the water waiting for waves to come. After waiting for some time, a new set of waves will emerge. Everybody wants to catch that first wave, but the first wave in a set is usually not the best one. It is often smaller than the waves in the middle of the set. If you rush to catch the first one, you could end up seeing the best waves as you paddle back out to wait for more. I've done this countless times only to regret that I didn't just wait for the second or third wave, which would have been much better. I think we as humans tend to jump on the first best thing we see. Sometimes it's better to wait. When facing a big decision or making a choice, it can be a good idea not to rush. Take some time and see if you can find the best option for you. Don't take the first wave, take the best wave. Lesson number three, overcoming fear is one of life's biggest rewards. This one I've had to endure many times and I've seen a lot of my friends had to do it as well. It has happened to me a lot while mountain biking. When crashing on a feature like a drop, a jump or some slippery routes. After a crash, one often gets afraid to try again. It doesn't matter if it's a small or a big feature, the fear will get stuck in your brain and the only way to get rid of it is to try it again. It requires a lot of guts to pick up your bike and go back up. Adrenaline rushes through your body while your head is trying to convince you not to do it. When you go through with it, despite all of this, the feeling you get is a mix of adrenaline, joy, relief, and the feeling that you can do anything. There is simply no better feeling than conquering your own fear. Conquering your fear in other parts of your life is just as rewarding. Maybe the thought of going to a social event and talking to new people scare you? Or you had a bad experience when you were younger with something that you've been afraid of ever since? Try to challenge yourself by overcoming the fear and make it a habit to do so. Lesson number four. There's always another wave. When I have a surfing session that I feel is not going my way, I get frustrated. I try to be positive, but sometimes it's hard when you're in the water and the waves are crashing down on you. When it happens, I try to let go of the negativity and remember that one wave makes the session. If I can only get one good wave today, it'll all be worth it. And luckily, there is always another wave coming. Sometimes we feel like if we don't get into this university or buy that house or get that job, that there will never be another chance. 
we get frustrated and we start to have negative thoughts. Just like in the water, we must try to be positive. And remember that there's always a new wave coming. A new chance. There will always be another university you can go to. Another job and another house. And sometimes the next wave is even better than the first one. Lesson number five. Sharing your passion with friends creates the best memories. My most cherished memories come from sharing my passion for extreme sports with others. Sharing good times with people who are just as passionate as you is incredible. Everyone wants to learn new tricks, go to new locations, and you can talk about gear, boards, and bikes for hours on end. Moments are meant to be shared, and friends cheer you on, push you, and makes you a better rider. If you don't have any friends that enjoy extreme sports, a good way to meet like-minded people is to go to camps. There are camps for skating, mountain biking, snowboarding, surfing, and so much more. All my extreme sport friends I've met at camps. And some of us travel around Norway together, experiencing the best mountains, beaches, and parks. In the end, all we are left with is our memories. Share your passion with your friends, and the average day out riding can become one of your best ones. I hope you liked this video. Let me know in the comments below if you have some life lessons you've learned from sports. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, hit that like button and subscribe for more content.